All right, this is uh, grade two, module one, lesson five. And in this problem, we are going to be decomposing in order to subtract within 20. And of course, we're gonna do some word problems. Now, what does that mean? What that means is, for example, let's say we start with 14 minus three. Well, if we look at the ones place, we can subtract the three from the four in the ones place. So I'm gonna decompose the 14 to 10 plus four, and then we have this minus three. So I'm gonna do the four minus three is one, so that gives us 10 plus one, which is 11, okay? Now, of course, 14 minus three, we could get 11, and a lot of kids would say, well, well I could have done that. I could just count backwards by three. That is true on these simple problems, but uh, ideally, we want to learn, uh, teach our kids how to decompose using a number bond like this uh, so that they can apply this technique to bigger numbers and apply this technique to fractions because number bonds, like what I circled here in blue, also work with fractions. So we're really paving the way in second grade for the fractions that students are going to be doing in third, fourth, and fifth grade. Now, if we do, uh, let's say, 14 minus 8. Now, in this case, we have four ones, and it says to take away eight ones, in which case, in this problem, we don't really have enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to decompose, but I'm going to kind of do it a little bit backwards. I'm going to decompose it like 10 plus 4. So now I'm going to subtract the 10 minus 8. And that gives us 2. So we end up with 4 plus 2, which is 6. So 14 minus 8 is 6. So in this one example here, the one on the left here, because the ones were such that we can subtract ones from ones, uh, we decomposed it 10 plus 4 like this. But over here, because the fours, the four ones minus eight ones, we uh, wasn't going to work in second grade. Of course, we could go into negatives, but right now we're going to try and stick with positives. Um, we decomposed it slightly differently. We decomposed it to be four plus ten, and then we subtracted the eight ones from the ten. They uh, both techniques um, are going to work, and we want kids to be able to recognize when do they are they going to use one technique versus the other. So let's put this into some practice. So Mrs. Jones bought 12 eggs from the store. Her husband brought five more eggs in the evening. And then they used up eight eggs for dinner. And so the question is, uh, how many eggs do they have left? Well, we know that this part right here is saying subtract. We don't want to do, um, well, yeah, we want to do 12 minus 8. So we can do 12 minus 8. And then I'm going to decompose this because of the ones. It says that you have two ones take away 8. So I'm going to decompose it so that we actually subtract the 8 from the 10. And that, of course, is 2. So we end up with 2 plus 2, which is 4. But then her husband had brought five eggs in the evening, so now we're going to do five plus four, and so our answer is nine. Clearly, there's other ways that students could solve this problem. Some students might add together and say, well, first we're going to add 12 plus five and get 17, and then do 17 minus eight, and that's absolutely appropriate. That's okay, in which case they would decompose it to be seven plus ten, and then subtract and get 2. So you end up with 7 plus 2, which is 9, the exact same answer. Um, as long as a student understands one of these two methods, or maybe both, that's what we're looking for. And in this last example for this video, we have 11 pink roses and 7 red roses. She gave away nine of the pink roses, so that means we are going to do 11 minus nine, 
And because the ones are situated that we can't subtract them straight off, so we are going to decompose the 11 to be 1 plus 10. And now we can subtract 10 minus 9 is 1. So we end up with 1 plus 1 is 2. But then it says we also have 7 red roses. So we're going to take the 2, add 7. That gives us 9. So how many roses does she have left over? And the answer is 9 roses. And that is lesson five.